Greetings! Welcome to Research Lecture Series. Today, we will be discussing about aligning specific questions with your research variables. Just like what we have discussed before, every research case should contain the who, the what, and the where of your research problem. The who that represents the respondents of your study, the where that represents the specific locale of your study, and the what which will contain the problem of your study. By extension, the what also contains the objective that will drive your motivation in completing and pursuing this research study. Now, in the research case that is in front of you, it talks about adjustment of faculty in this new normal education. So let me read the research case. Work from home has been the common jargon among workers during the 2020 pandemic. This shift in work from the workplace to the comfort of someone else's home posed challenges among teachers in the conduct of their works. A shift from physical classroom to online learning became the options for teachers to conduct their classes. According to the theory of Og Burns, Technical development includes adjustment. It is part of invention, accumulation, and diffusion as a process by which non-technical aspects of human capacity respond towards invention. This adjustment may result to difficulties and learned means of coping in it. This study aims to measure the extent of adjustment among teachers of school ABC. The results of the study may facilitate on the development of coaching programs for teachers on the use of technology in online learning. First, the who, faculty, where, school, ABC, what, adjustment on online learning, guided by the theory of Ogburns. Also, the aim of the study, according to the research case, measure is to measure the extent of adjustment among teachers of school ABC. Therefore, apart from learning the research case, every researcher must understand that on that specific problem posed by his research case includes the, the variables of the study. The variables are characteristics or entities that is possessed by the respondents of yours. Or sometimes, and most of the time, in quantitative research, these are the things that we aim to measure or we aim to assess. The independent variable and the dependent variable. Remember that the independent and the dependent variable should also help you. Okay? Should also help you uh, provide the output of the study after the data gathering. Let us use the very convenient variable box. First two boxes as seen in this variable box includes the input of your study. This contains the independent variable and the dependent variable. Remember that the independent variable contains the profile of your respondents and Statistically, this will be the point of comparison for causality. Also, the dependent variable, on the other hand, it measures or you measure this to attain your objective. And it is also helpful for the acceptance or rejection of the null hypothesis. The output of the study is the third box. It is the result of your data collection, statistical analysis, and interpretation. It always seek for alignment with your objective. The variable box. The independent variable is the first box, the dependent variable is the second box, and the output of the study is the third box. These boxes allows you to see the, the variables that will play significant role in your study. In our example, since we use the faculty as our, as our respondents, variables such as sex, age, years in teaching service, years in working with computers for teaching, number of trainings attended about technology-driven teaching will be part of the independent variable. 
these independent variables are the characteristics of your respondents. Probably they will differ on such, but these variables allows them or allows the researcher to understand who, uh, who are his or her respondents. Now, the dependent variable of the study includes the extent of adjustment in preparation for online classes. Guided by Augsburg's theory, this will refer to internet accessibility, technical competence, teaching competence in an online classroom, and communication in a virtual classroom. These four parameters will help us assess the extent of adjustment among teachers in, prepara in preparing for online classes. And lastly, the output of the study may result to capacity building plan for teachers on the use of technology in teaching. The independent variable, the dependent variable, and the output of the study. So how can we form our problems here? Now, remember, the boxes contain the problems that you must answer in your research study. Therefore, the independent variable, the first box, will be the question number one. The second box will be the question number two. And the statistical, uh, and the statistical relation or the statistical causality can be derived after the statistical analysis and that will be our question number three and the fourth will be the output of the study therefore our question number one should be crafted from box number one which says what are the characteristics of the faculty in terms of 1.1 sex 1.2 age 1.3 years in teaching 1.4 years in working with computers for teaching and 1.5 numbers of training attended about technology driven teaching question number one is our independent variable question number two will be box number two or the dependent variable box and the question will be what is the extent of adjustment among faculty respondents in preparing for online classes in terms of According to Ogburn's, internet accessibility, technical competence, teaching competence in an online classroom, and communication in a virtual classroom. Again, question number two is box number two, and this is all about the dependent variable of the study. Question number three, six, for statistical clarification between, the two, between independent variable and the dependent variable. We consider two options here, whether we use the test of significant difference or test of significant relationship. But please be guided on making statistical considerations. Always look for the objective of your study and how your variables might attest to the, to the other variable or the independent variable to the dependent variable. In this study, I would like to see whether independent variables pose significant difference in the adjustment of the teachers. That is why the question will be, is there a significant difference between the demographic profile of the respondents and the extent of adjustment? So that will be my, my question number three. Question number four will be the output question. What output can be created from the results of the study? That will be my specific questions. Remember, the variables of the study plays a vital role in crafting the specific questions. Every researcher must be understanding about the variables that is inside of his research case and how are these variables be treated. Remember also, our specific questions is also providing us the idea how or what kind of intervention shall we be applying vis-a-vis -vis these specific questions. Thank you for listening to our research lecture series. Remember, while research is a demanding endeavor, it will always be the best gift that we can have to progress our own discipline and continue the growth of knowledge in this 21st century. Good day and God bless.